Hello dear P3s, I'm here for Literacy 1A and we are still handling social services and we are to look at the transport service. I remember some time back or in the previous lessons we handled road transport. So I'm here to look at another type of transport and that is air transport. And this is my 19th lesson our 19th lesson. So we are going to learn a lot under this lesson. Let's see what we expect in this lesson. First of all, we need to define air transport. We need to know what air transport is. Secondly, we should be able to identify the perishable goods after knowing what they are. Thirdly, we should be able to mention the means of air transport. And lastly, we shall be able to draw the means of air transport. Hope you are ready for this lesson. Everybody settle so that you can pick a lot from this lesson. So, when I talk about air transport, what clicks into your brain? What do you know about air transport? So, if you can easily tell air and you can know what transport is, it is not hard at all. So when I'm talking about transport, Air transport, I'm referring to the movement of people or goods from one place to another by air. So the moment you travel, you move. It can be, they can be people, they can be goods, and they are using air. Know that that is the air transport we are referring to. To talk more about air transport, it is known to be the fastest or the quickest type of transport. So when we look at all the types of transport, air transport is the fastest type of transport. And another thing, it is also good at carrying perishable goods. I mean perishable goods. What are those perishable goods? Perishable goods are goods that get spoiled easily. So when we look at these goods, they get spoiled easily compared to other goods. What are those perishable goods? They can be fruits, they can be ve vegetables, fresh flowers, and fish. Think about more goods that get spoiled easily. So if they bring around these things at home, know that they can easily get spoiled. So, in this other session, we are to look at the means of air transport. If we are to travel by air, which means are we supposed to use? Have you ever traveled by air? Could it have been your parent or your relative? Which mean, or actually, which means of transport did they use? We have airplanes. Helicopters, we have the rockets, the hot air balloons, and the jets. Which other means of air transport do you know and have not mentioned them? So, have you ever used some of these means of air transport? You must have enjoyed. Okay. That is a jet. Have you ever seen such a mean of air transport? Maybe that time you couldn't tell its name. That is one of the jets. Uh, we have the airplane. I think we have ever seen such. Maybe you have ever traveled in such. So that is the airplane. Uh, we have the, chop, uh, the helicopter here in our picture. I think we have ever seen such, especially in movies or physically you have ever seen. Uh, we have the hot air balloons. It is in form of a balloon. That's why they chose, I think, to call it the hot air balloon. So this is also another mean of air transport. And lastly, we have the rocket. It is in such a form. We have different kinds of rockets, but I've brought you one. You can search for more rockets. I think it has been so great to see these means of air transport. If you have never traveled by air, in case you get that opportunity of traveling by air, know the means of transport you will have used. Oh, 
we have another picture here and this is our international airport and that is none other than Entebbe International Airport. I know many of you have ever gone to this place. It is a wonderful place, big with people. Some traveling, others are coming back. As you can see in our picture, they are welcoming you to Entebbe International Airport. So this is the biggest airport or the international airport of Uganda. And I know during our trips, we have ever gone to this place. It is a wonderful place. You must have enjoyed this lesson because many of you have go, ever gone to this place and many of you have ever seen such on televisions and in movies. Okay, having learned air transport, the perishable goods and the means of air transport, I have an exercise for you which I believe you will enjoy. Make sure that you read and you understand mind so much about your spellings. I'll see you in the next lesson. I have more about air transport. Thanks for listening.